Thank you, Mr. Moderator. I thought I would uh, come down from heaven to the uh, regular world to speak. First of all, I agree that the Budget Committee spent a lot of time on this budget, but I also agree that the department heads spent a lot of time on this budget. Uh, and I think we have to look at that. And I think we have to look at Hampton. And I, tax rates are one thing. But what's, where does Hampton want to be? Do they want to have a department head who's been here for 20 years, who's making a salary that's equal to a, uh, an entry-level salary in other towns? I mean, for so long, we've kept our budgets down. So there were raises that were in this budget, but there were raises that were probably appropriate to do. They were large raises, you could say, but because they had not been made in the past. So I think you have to take a good, strong look at Hampton, the town you live in. I think Dave Lang said it nicely. And I think you have to decide, where do you want Hampton to go? What do you want Hampton to do? And do you trust your department heads? You've hired these people. They, they look at their budgets, they decide what they want, and they go from there. On the issue of uh, uh, gas and diesel, which I made a point of in the Budget Committee, I disagree with that, because we have no clue. Right now we know what the cost is, but we have no clue what the cost will be next year. Right now oil is down because Saudi Arabia wants to punish Iran. And next year, that could be totally different. We have a Middle East that's totally out of control. That could go up dramatically. So there's a cost there. I think it was deficit, deficit spent this year, the budget, on that. Uh, when you tie electricity to the cost of oil, in New Hampshire, that does not work. In New Hampshire, our electricity, most of it is produced by uh, natural gas. And no matter how much natural gas the United States has, it's still going to not come to New Hampshire because we don't have the pipeline capacity. So I am in favor of this amendment. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Waddell.